Captain, there was strange talking. Are you sure those frightening sounds came from the well? Your space language was too hard for us to understand, so we have decided to communicate with you through this man. Remember to say this is a recording. I am your friend. I have lived on a distant star for many years, fizzing with ideas. I've tried to use my superpowers for good instead of evil. I have powers that can make destroyed monsters live again. Next year, I want to put out a series of singles, not an album. This guide vocal, mine, vocoder kissed, all done up. We changed camera angles and covered his legs with smoke, but he takes a direct hit, no matter what. Bus stop, spooky moment, my watch got loud. I've got no Broncos left. I really need a massage, or someone to just beat the crap out of me. Talked into the phantom to tell you my ride was late. My star's out of focus, can't be read. When this man fainted, his evil thoughts were transmitted into the heart of an amazing stone. He took a disco nap and dreamt of larger craters, the energy drink berserker, the roundhouse kick of Billy Jack, ninjas swoop on zip lines, actor in rubber suit versus actor in rubber suit. From a far planet in a distant galaxy comes a strange armada to destroy Earth. Paris maintains the weather may be cloudy during the attack. Those saucers are sure hard to see. Captain, my fellow creatures all live and work, as they have for years, inside our invisible ship. Across the soccer terraces, a phantom plane drops leaflets, crib notes, press kits, bootlegs, the cool punk stickers. Evening fell like a puppet government. Pez was dispensed. <laughs> we developed a taste for intelligence community products and heavy petting for Quonset huts, glass bottom boats, pogo sticks, and pet rocks. We sat through edict after edict, kowtowed with the best in the biz. Let's take a little break. Look at the monkey portraits again. The rubber baboon in the jungle gym. The gibbon broke into the mini bar. The marmoset hid in the captain's body, then destroyed our control room. Well, it looks like we've got our work cut out for us back at the lab. And me still reeling from that last pop quiz. As your superior, I'd like to know why you allowed that beast to get the best of you. Never pet a homunculus when it's in service. How can I feel good when you only get A's for your monster drawings? I want you to study math and history real hard and forget all about monsters, promise? Okay, I've enjoyed my stay in the penalty box. Those ski ball tickets were burning a hole in my pocket anyway. I used my outside voice inside and my inside voice outdoors. It's word problems. Those are the hardest problems for me. I think about my style and what I have to do to ruin it. Hark, I mean, what the fuck? The deep wood skeeters holler like all get out. My frumpy gizmo chirps. The choppers have a reed on me. All operators, please pick up your handsets for a message. Just thought I'd let you troopers know cable. Paris cabled their latest orders. A new theorem at once monstrous and brimming with bucolic gambles. The elevator pitch outsourced fell into a ha-ha. A strange wave of some kind kept dominating the Ouija board. Captain, Paris is reporting new data. Fewer dropped calls and hair gel checks. More tractor pulls in the pleasure dome. They put me to work on Neptune's car, tricked out in metal fleck paint and mag wheels. Have you ever peed on the moon roof? 
We know how lonely you are. You'll return to space. Suit up in regulation uniform, your fright wig awaits. We should have you on the ground in about 30 minutes. I should like to place an order via your outrageous machine. The middle button is the action button for everything. Do not operate this device without a buddy to spot you. Unleash the Kraken, my sidekick. These are ephemeral pools.